Welcome back, my duelist friends. Casual duelist here. And to finally get into the whole swing of Spooktober, we are building and playing our Sword Stalker Speed Duel deck. Now, a couple reasons that we chose this. One, uh, I didn't remember that he was in the game. Two, he looks awfully amazing. And three, it's so it was sort of brought up to me that it's kind of up my alley that I should have done. So we're doing it. Um, also, he just looks pretty amazing, doesn't he? Really kind of gives you, I don't want to say like uh, McFarlane spawn vibes, but definitely like a twisted warrior. So in order to build this deck, we are not going to be using any of the new cards uh, that released on Friday. Instead, because this deck list was made a week ago, we're going to do it as it was. So to lead the deck off, we're going to start with our skill card. We're going to choose the Joey Wheeler skill. I'm just going to attack. Um, during the main phase, you can make one of your monsters gain 100 attack until the end of the turn. Additionally, during the battle phase, when the opponent activates a trap card, you may negate the effect and reset that trap card. Each of these skills can be used once per turn. However, they can be used every turn. So, good skill card, great skill card. Not so sure why that's fuzzing out as far as the camera focus. Um, but it's a very good start, um, to this almost generic-ish deck. Uh, next up, getting into the deck itself, we're going to use three copies, Break of the Magical Warrior. Again, when this card is summoned, uh, normal summoned, we get to place one spell counter on it. It can hold up to one, um, gains 300 attack for the spell counter. And during our own turn, we may remove that spell counter Target one spell trap card on the field and destroy the target. So, not only is it going to be a great offensive start at 19, potentially 2k, um, it's also going to help us manage the back row so that if there is only one card, I'm just going to attack is going to be a little more useful. Uh, next up is something that the GX box gave us. We definitely need. We need three copies of Cyber Dragon. Um, and again, Cyber Dragon is really just trying to help us get for our 1-2 summoning. Um, if our opponent, if sorry, if only the opponent controls a monster, then we can special summon this card from the hand. Uh, so again, as long as we don't start with any monsters, boom, Cyber Dragon, quick tribute into Sword Stalker. Um, again, I know it feels a little odd, but uh, since I'm not running the Soul Exchange, I did want to make sure that I wasn't giving up my turn when I could just go offensive. Um, but again, you know, play it your way. Um, there is more than one way to run a du run the uh, speed duel deck. Uh, and then last, we're going to use three copies of the Sword Stalker himself. He's just a great base, uh, six star, two K, kind of underwhelming. All said and done, but with this deck built around him, there is plenty of opportunity for him to be uh, just literally the strongest thing out there. Moving into the spells, we are going to be using three copies Book of Moon, and again. This allows us to target a face-up monster card on the field, change it to face-down defense position. Quick play, we could set it, activate it like a trap. Um, if our opponent gets the same idea, our it's I'm just going to attack is not going to be able to work against it. So again, that's when the breakers come in handy. Uh, but again, it's going to pull some double duty for us. Uh, additionally, we're going to be running two cosmic cyclones. Pay a thousand life points, target a spell trap, banish it. Again, quick play. Again, back road control. It's just good stuff. Uh, one copy, Nobleman of Crossout. And again, since we are already running three copies Book of Moon, and we do hope to put our opponent on the defensive, uh, Nobleman of Crossout should help us get through their defenses by banishing the face-down uh, defense monster. Um, just is what it is. Uh, three copies, United We Stand, and this is where the real power of the deck comes. Um, this allows our Sword Stalker to gain 800 just for existing by himself, and then an additional 800 for every friend he has on his side of the field. Again, it's a possible 2,400. 24 plus his 2K is going to put him at 4,800, uh, which also means he's stronger than the strongest written stat currently in Speed Duel, uh, which is still the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon at 4,500. So again, pretty good stuff. And then moving into the uh, the traps, we are going to run two copies of a Lost Wind Trap card. And again, this is great. Uh, we can reuse these. 
Uh, target a face-up special summon monster card on the field. Negate that card's effects and half its original attack. If a monster is special summoned from the extra deck, the opponent's extra deck, while this is already in your graveyard, except during the damage step, then you may set this card but banish it when it leaves the field the next time. So, what this is really going to allow us to do, especially since it's finally the GX era, um, you guys saw the new fusions that came out for the Elemental Heroes. We got some more Viacroids, um And everything that's already running around. Ojama's still kind of top tier-ish. Um, XYZ, you know, the Union Monsters. Um, it's just a good trap card. I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. Moving into our extra deck. We're going to run our single copy of Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Because again, it is the strongest. Cyberblader for her three different effects and the fact that she's just going to be, you know, boss level. The Cyber and Dragon, because uh, again, I do like the option between this and the Blue Eyes Ultimate defining whether or not I want the power or if I'm looking to get the piercing damage. The single copy Ojama King, the single copy Ryu Senshi, and so sad that he's the only common one, the single copy of the Thousand Eyes Restrict. And again, this is just all good stuff that goes along with our with our side deck. Our side deck is going to consist of a second copy of Nobleman of Crossout, our third copy of Lost Wind, two copies of Waking the Dragon, and again, when Waking the Dragon is destroyed on the field or banished, and it finds itself uh, either you know in the Remove from Play sector or in the discard pile because it was uh, destroyed and sent there. Then we get to summon any card out of our main deck or our extra deck. This is what allows our fusions to go live. And then again, because Inner Conflict really hasn't gone anywhere. Uh, three, or sorry, two copies, Zoma the Spirit. Again, this wonderful little guy. Special summon him in defense mode as an effect monster with those stats right there. Zombie Dark, four star, 18 by five. Still considered to be a trap. And if summoned this way, if he is destroyed in battle, inflict damage to the opponent equal to the attack of the monster that destroyed it. So again, very important. Very much a bit of glare there. Um, but not too much I could do about that. Except maybe change the light bulb again. So guys, this is the deck list. If you guys like it, you know, feel free to give us a thumbs up. Maybe give us a little comment. Um, Garrett, if you'd like to let them know in the comment section which parts you would change around to add in your soul exchanges, because again, that's more your play style. Uh, let us know down in the comment section. Um, if I remember, I'll pin it. So this way, it's always like the first comment. So anybody watching can get that expert advice. And then, uh, guys, I just I hope that you guys enjoyed it. You know, uh, hopefully you guys will support the channel, like, comment, subscribe, notification bells. This way, you guys are always aware when we upload something new. Um, which is pretty much every day, sometimes two and three times in a day. And then, uh, you know, share us with your friends. Help us get out there. Help us grow as a channel. And then uh, the most important thing, guys, go out and have a lovely day today. Um, we do have a 3X hero build uh, from the midterm box coming up in an hour or so. And we will have a speed dual spotlight. Um, Celestial did convince me to do it. So we will be doing it. Till then, my friends, you have a great day. And uh, hope to see you again on the next one. Later.